There are three ways to start the installation of EPS at the base of the wall. Apply dabs of Drivet's AP Adhesive at 12 inches on center on the dry Backstop NT air water resistive barrier. Position the Drivet drainage strip on the chalk line and press firmly against the substrate to ensure firm contact between the adhesive and the wall surface. Install detail mesh over drainage strip. Using a notch trowel, apply adhesive on the back of the EPS and attach EPS at the base of wall over the detail mesh and drainage strip. Using a chalk line, strike a level line at the base of the wall that coincides with either the top or bottom of the nailing flange. Install the drive it drainage track with screws. Install Aquaflash and Aquaflash mesh over the top of the track for continuity. Let dry. Apply another coat of liquid. Insert notched EPS into the track. Using a stainless steel trowel, apply the adhesive vertically with a notch trowel. Press the starter board at the base of the wall firmly. Using a stainless steel trowel, apply the adhesive vertically with a notch trowel. Press the corner pieces at the wall openings firmly. Using a stainless steel trowel, apply the adhesive vertically with a notch trowel. Press the EPS onto the wall. Using a stainless steel trowel, apply the adhesive vertically with a notch trowel, keeping the adhesive out of the grooves. Press the EPS onto the wall. When using groove stock for outsolation MD, PE, or Infinity PE systems, Install the track and vent tracks above the starter strip of EPS and vent assembly. Once fully dry, rasp surface to ensure a flat surface. Sliver any gaps greater than 1 16th of an inch. Using a stainless steel trowel, apply the Genesis adhesive vertically with a notch trowel. Begin installation of the XPS from a permanent or temporary support. Press the XPS onto the wall. Immediately install one fastener at every stud. Once fully dry, grasp surface to ensure a flat surface. Sliver any gaps greater than 1 16th of an inch. Spot all fasteners with Genesis base coat and let sit until firm to the touch. When adding aesthetic joints, strike a level chalk line. Position a straight edge against the insulation board to guide the cutting tool.